What if I told you that the same physicist who cracked some of the universe's most complex mysteries also discovered a brain technique so powerful it could help you absorb 100 words in just 10 minutes? Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Yet thousands of language learners around the world are now using Richard Feynman's counterintuitive method to achieve what once seemed impossible building a functional vocabulary at lightning speed while actually remembering every single word when they need. At most, has this ever happened to you? You spend months drilling flashcards, downloading the latest apps, even investing in expensive courses, only to freeze completely when someone asks you a simple question in your target language. The words you studied so diligently just vanish from your mind like smoke. You're not failing because you lack talent or dedication. You're failing because conventional language learning methods are fundamentally broken. They ignore how your brain actually works. Here's the uncomfortable truth most teachers won't tell you. Your brain isn't designed to remember disconnected information. It's designed to remember experiences, emotions, and patterns that matter to your survival and well-being. Feynman understood this at a level that completely transformed how we should approach vocabulary acquisition. While everyone else was obsessing over grammar rules and pronunciation drills, he identified the single most critical foundation for language fluency. And it's probably not what you think. But before we begin, please hit the like button and let me know where in the world you're watching from today. It's always fascinating seeing who's joining us from around the world. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now imagine your brain as a construction site. What you're about to discover might surprise you. Most language learners are trying to build walls and install windows before they've even poured the foundation. They scatter their attention across thousands of random words, complex grammatical structures, and pronunciation nuances, wondering why nothing sticks. Feynman's genius was recognizing that vocabulary isn't just one component of language learning. It's the entire foundation upon which everything else must be built. Without it, you're constructing a house on sand. But here's where it gets fascinating. Feynman didn't advocate for mindlessly memorizing dictionary entries. Instead, he discovered something neuroscientists are only now beginning to fully understand. Your brain categorizes and stores vocabulary based on emotional significance and sensory experience, not alphabetical order. When you connect a word to a vivid mental image, a physical sensation, or a genuine emotion, you're not just memorizing. You're encoding that word across multiple neural pathways simultaneously. This creates a memory so robust that forgetting becomes nearly impossible. Stay with me until the end, because what I'm about to reveal will completely change how you think about learning vocabulary. The technique Feynman developed doesn't just help you remember words. It transforms how your brain processes and retrieves language, turning you from someone who studies words into someone who lives them. And the best part? You can start seeing results in the next 10 minutes. Let me take you behind the scenes of what actually happens. When someone transforms from a struggling learner into a confident speaker, the hidden truth isn't about talent or some genetic gift for languages. It's about a daily decision that takes less than 15 minutes, but creates an exponential impact over time. This is where most people abandon their journey without ever realizing how close they were to a breakthrough. Think about the fundamental difference between passive knowledge and active mastery. You can recognize thousands of words when reading but struggle to produce even basic sentences in conversation. This gap is precisely what kills fluency dreams. Feynman understood that your brain needs to practice retrieval, not just recognition. The transformation happens when you force yourself to construct sentences using your new vocabulary, not textbook examples that mean nothing to you, but sentences about your actual life, your genuine experiences, your real thoughts and emotions. 
Here's what this looks like in practice. Every single day, you commit to writing just 15 sentences in your target language. These aren't generic phrases like, the cat sits on the mat. Instead, you write about what you ate for breakfast, how you felt during that difficult meeting, why you're excited about this weekend's plans. This personal connection creates the emotional significance your brain craves. You're not studying anymore. You're expressing yourself. And that mindset shift changes everything. Now, I want to go even deeper into the mechanism that separates those who remember what they learn from those who forget it all within weeks. There's a precise psychological timing at play here, a rhythm your memory follows that most learners completely ignore. Feynman discovered something remarkable about how the brain decides what deserves permanent storage versus what gets discarded as temporary noise. Your memory isn't a filing cabinet where information sits unchanged. It's a living system that constantly evaluates what matters based on how frequently and when you access it. The revelation is this. There exists a perfect moment to review each word right before your brain is about to let it fade away. Review too soon and you're wasting precious time reinforcing what you already know. Wait too long, and you're essentially relearning from scratch, which is exhausting and demoralizing. But catch that word at precisely the right moment, when it's just beginning to slip from your memory, and something magical happens. Your brain interprets this as a signal that this information is genuinely important, worthy of moving from short-term storage into permanent, easily accessible memory. This isn't guesswork or intuition. Modern technology now allows us to leverage sophisticated algorithms that track your personal forgetting curve and present vocabulary exactly when you need to see it. The efficiency gains are staggering. Imagine remembering five times as many words with the same investment of time and energy. This is the compound effect of strategic timing, meeting consistent action. Every review session becomes exponentially more powerful because you're working with your brain's natural rhythms instead of against them. Write in the comments. I'm ready to work with my brain, not against it. If this resonates with your own learning struggles and victories, the uncomfortable reality about language learning is that most people are trapped in an endless loop of recognition without ever Developing the ability to produce language on demand. You scroll through flashcards, nodding along because you understand each word when you see it. You read articles in your target language and feel accomplished because you grasp the meaning. But then someone asks you a simple question and your mind goes completely blank. That paralyzing moment reveals the hidden truth about passive versus active knowledge. They're not just different degrees of learning, they're fundamentally different. And cognitive processes living in separate regions of your brain. Feynman identified this gap as the single biggest obstacle preventing people from achieving real fluency. The revelation he had was profound. Knowledge isn't real until you force yourself to retrieve it without external prompts. Every time you actively recall a word from memory, speaking it aloud, writing it without looking, using it in conversation, you're literally rewiring the neural pathways that store that information. This isn't metaphorical. Your brain physically strengthens the connections that allow rapid access to that vocabulary, making each subsequent retrieval faster and more effortless. The transformation happens through deliberate discomfort, when you force yourself to speak using new vocabulary even though it feels awkward, when you quiz yourself instead of passively reviewing, when you push through that mental resistance to produce language rather than just consume it, that's when the actual rewiring occurs. Most learners avoid this discomfort, staying safely in the zone of passive recognition where everything feels easier but nothing truly changes. They remain eternal students perpetually preparing for a conversation that never comes. If this resonates with you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more practical strategies like this. Content made for people ready to transform how they learn.
There's an invisible threshold that exists in every language learning journey. A line that separates those who study languages from those who actually acquire them. You can't see this line on any curriculum or course outline, but it's there nonetheless, dividing two completely different realities. On one side, you're collecting knowledge, accumulating vocabulary, understanding grammar rules. On the other side, something fundamental shifts. The language stops being an external subject you're studying and becomes an internal tool you're using to think, express, and connect with the world. Around you, this threshold is where mindset becomes everything. The decision to cross it isn't about more study hours or better materials. It's about transforming your relationship with the language itself. Feynman's approach accelerates this crossing by building every component we've discussed into a unified system. You're not just memorizing words in isolation, you're creating emotional connections, practicing authentic expression, leveraging optimal timing, and forcing active retrieval. Each element compounds the others, creating momentum that propels you across that invisible line faster than traditional methods could ever achieve. The real impact isn't just measured in vocabulary size or test scores. It's measured in confidence, in the ability to navigate new cultures, in conversations that create genuine human connections across linguistic barriers. It's measured in moments when you realize you're no longer translating in your head. You're thinking directly in your target. Language, and it feels natural, almost automatic. If you've experienced that moment of clarity where everything just clicks, type in the comments, I'm crossing the threshold. I've shared Feynman's technique with thousands of people, and what amazes me every time isn't just the language breakthroughs. It's watching someone's entire perspective shift when they realize learning doesn't have to be the struggle they've always known. That's really what this is about. Not memorization tricks or shortcuts, but understanding how your mind actually works and aligning your approach with that reality instead of fighting against it. If you made it all the way here with me, I genuinely appreciate you taking this journey. The fact that you invested these minutes tells me you're serious about transformation, not just consumption. That's the kind of person I create content for. Every week, I break down complex learning principles into practical strategies that actually work in real life, not just in theory. If that resonates with you, hitting that subscribe button means you won't miss what's coming next. And trust me, we're just getting started. I'm curious about something. This video clearly struck a chord if you're still here. Would you drop a comment saying, I made it to the end with you? It helps me understand who's truly connecting with this material. And honestly, it's encouraging to know this content is landing with the right people. And if what you discovered here shifted, something in how you think about learning, a like on this video goes further than you might realize. It helps others who are stuck in the same frustration find their way to these insights. There's a video right here that takes this even deeper. It's about what to do when you don't have conversation partners to practice with, which is the natural next step after building this vocabulary foundation. Click and continue with me over there, because what we've started here is just the beginning of something much bigger.